What up, sports fans? Welcome back to Clint City. My name's Hip Hop, baby. And you're watching Hoppus Hip Tips. That's right. Hoppus Hip Tips. We got some hot, steamy EFC action on the way here. And uh, basically, we got Huracan and Raptors loaded here. And then when we finish with those, we'll switch to some Jungo. In fact, I think I think I only have one game left to win with Raptors, so yeah, that'll be that should go pretty quickly, and then we'll get into we'll we'll toss some Jungos in with our Huracan. How about that? What up, Mecha Colos? You ready to do this? Yeah, yeah. It's Urban Rivals, bye bye. But first, a couple little news items here. Um, there's a new there's there's a new game out. Uh, by Acute Games. And this one, I'm not talking about friggin' Meet Me, okay? I'm talking about friggin' Pocket City, which is basically like, I don't know. It's basically, it looks like it's an action game from, um, it's obviously, it's, it's, it's Urban Rivals, but not, but this isn't going to be a card game. It's going to be like a, I don't know what, Evolve Your Districts and Characters. Keep yourself covered. It's it's probably like like those like ev like an evolve game where you evolve your heroes and stuff and build your little base and I don't know. It should be. It looks interesting actually. Um, and this is actually like something that Urban Rivals players may actually be interested in, unlike friggin' Meet Me. But anyway, so this might be cool. But it's a new game. Um, so if you want to sign up for that register uh, to get started. Anyway, um, it might be fun to jump in on, you know, the ground level of a new game, so that's kind of cool. But, uh, we also have a community event going on. Catch me. So, Enigma, the AI Enigma is out there, um, and uh, I guess you can face him in any room, but I assume Free Fight would probably be the easiest way to catch him. And uh, he's playing with a full Paradox deck. And if you beat him, you get Enigma. Sweet. So there you go. So uh, yesterday we, we got into... Um, we got back into Danger Zone. It's a start. It's not where we want to be, but it's a start. And uh, we're 329th of Danger Zone at 179 points. And we got a ways to go here to get back into friggin' EFC Tower. But we're going to. So, um, yeah, we're coming for you, EFC Tower. This is game one of ten. And like I said, I just need to win one more game with two or more Raptors. And, uh, uh, except we only drew one Raptor this time, so it's not going to happen right now. But anyway, uh, we're fighting DL Kabdi, a Titan level 97. And he has a full hand of friggin' uppers here against my three Huracan and my Clarice. So, what do we want to do? Um, he's tossing Ruby here. And that means Booga Baga doesn't get his, his brawl damage. Um, and El Papagayo. Yeah, I don't know. Um, actually, I could toss Clarice here, couldn't I? Um, cancel power and damage mod. Um, I mean, she's only going to be good against MacArthur anyway. Um, and Ruby can be, what, a 40 attack? I don't think she'll go that hard, though. Um, let's go 40 attack. We'll see if she threw six pills. I doubt it. Yep, perfect. So we blast her for five. She kills our ability that uh, is not really going to do us any good anyway, and that's cool. We just uh, hit for five. Uh, got a free five life gap, and we preserved, more importantly, we preserved our Hurukan bonus here. So, so now what? Well... El Papagayo has a max 12 on his ability, so I guess we got to throw Booga Baga here. And, uh... Do 
you want to go all in? That's the question. Um, all in in fury? Yeah, let's go all in in fury. How about that? We'll see what that gets us. So he has to go first next turn, so that, that'll that be helpful. Uh, if we hit here, then if he tosses Nega D next turn, we just nerf with El Guacamole. But he tosses Nega D here. Did he go all in? That's the question. Oh, perfect. Oh, <laughs> sweet. There we go. Oh, that's a KO. <laughs> what? Wait, how does that work? How does that work? I thought he had a min one on his ability. Anyway, we pick up 24 points. We're at uh, 203 EFC points after that win. And uh, that was pretty sweet. I'll take it. Uh, we just broke We just broke 200, Egg We're fighting PA uh, Quaterman. PA Quaterman is a Colossus level 110 from uh, Piratos do Atlanticos here. He is uh, packing an even split of Raptors and Frozen. And I again did not draw two or more Raptors, so we're still not, we still have that mission to complete. But anyway, uh, I get to go first. So, it's gotta be Booga Baga Legend because I don't want Ona to SOA Booga Baga. And uh, yeah. That's basically the deal. So, what is Chopper? He could be a 48 attack. And what are we, 28? 32? Yeah, let's do that. We're going to go 28 attack. Plus 14 is... Yeah, 32 attack. So, when it's a draw with Chopper Legend. And uh, if he wants to go more than that, then he can, I guess. But then again, you know, he may even he may even toss Loki here. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, Booga Baga Legend on the way. And of course, um, you know, I only hit, I only have half a half an ability here, but uh, it's still a four life gap. Um, Oh, I know what it was. Nega D, he has that he has that ability, doesn't he? It's like it's kind of a victory or defeat deal. So he loses two life whether he wins or loses the round, something like that. That's what happened. So he so that that's how I KO'd him. I didn't even think about that. That's funny. But anyway, I like it. We got a nice victory there. So here comes friggin' Chopper. And uh, did he go, did he attack enough? Oh, t duh. My, uh, my attack bonus doesn't do jack squat against ra raptors, does it? Okay. Well, that was dumb. So he gets a, uh, he gets...